Well, more and more drivers are turning to electric vehicles these days, and many opt for a charging station at home for convenience, which is often put in the garage. But experts say all too often they're being improperly installed, leading to serious fire risks. Action News investigative reporter Chappardelli talked to one homeowner who had a very close call. As soon as I just came out, I smelled it. J.B. Craft smelled the waft of smoke in July. And I immediately looked over to the charge outlet and saw that it was smoking. That outlet was the EV charger for his Tesla. This charred and melted piece of plastic is what's left. This is still the burn right here. He wonders what might have been had his senses not alerted him. My daughter's bedroom is right above the garage. I called a master electrician independent from the builder who came out and said we were minutes from a house fire. Beecraft is among a growing number of people having EV chargers installed in their homes. His was done by his home builder. Fire after fire after fire. Longtime automotive engineer from the Detroit area, Sandy Monroe, has raised concerns about the dangers of residential EV charging stations and at times, substandard work by some electrical contractors. Get the right electrician. Get somebody who knows what they're doing. Not, not Uncle Charlie. Uh, not for uh, your friend of a friend, not for the lowest bid. Monroe says contractors often put in cheaper outlets and use aluminum wire versus copper. This is your typical electrical panel, and these are what are called circuit breakers. Monroe says an EV charging station should have its own dedicated breaker and be directly wired to a wall box from the vehicle manufacturer or other notable company. Tesla sells them, um, wall box sells them, ABB sells it. all kinds of people sell them. That's what you want in your house. It's a danger you can't see until it's too late. Nathan that's Simcox that's is a master electrician. It has to be you all listed. And trains the, future electricians. Exactly. At Delaware County Community College. How you making out? He says electrical vehicle owners need to make sure their equipment is all UL certified, meaning it's been through specific testing. Look for this symbol. It also shows that a UL certified device, if it catches fire, your homeowner's insurance will cover it if it's used correctly. Simcox says the most often mistake he sees is people using adapter plugs or dryer plugs not rated for charging cars. But an EV charger can go for 10, 12 hours at full capacity. These wires, they can't cool off. They're in the walls with insulation. And before you know it, there's a fire. The heat had to be just absolutely intense. A master electrician told Beecraft his issue was a substandard outlet and the wires were not torqued down correctly. He's now set up with a wall box over here, 60 amp, and a dedicated circuit into his electrical panel. They did do everything to code. The problem was the code for that particular outlet was designed for a dryer install. And you'll likely need a permit to put in an EV charging station. Check with your municipality. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News.